I have been selling this book, Zanaz Lee and Wan Chun Hong's Guide to Indie Filmmaking, which is published by MPH for a while now. It's a really good book. If you want to be a filmmaker, whether it's for YouTube, social media, TV, film, cinema, whatever, this is the book to get. I'm going to make it more accessible and more affordable to all of you because I believe that everybody needs to become a filmmaker. The more filmmakers we have in the world, I think this world will be a better place to live in. Now it's available as an electronic book download on my website. I'm going to link it here. It's really cheap. It's really affordable. It's only five ringgit if you want to get the ebook version. Okay, five ringgit. It doesn't really cost much, right? It's just a little bit of something for me. I mean, it did take a lot of work to write. Each chapter of this book talks about one part of the filmmaking process. And for each chapter as well, I interview a local filmmaker. It's only five ringgit. It's only five ringgit. Okay, you're watching and listening to the Fat Billion Film Club and I'm assuming I'm Zan Azli. And I'm Cheryl Ibs Dawan. Uh, every week we watch a local film and we review it. This week we watch a few local films. This week we're watching a, a film competition. Hmm. Yes, the Kuman Pictures Challenge Part 3. Not really Part 3 lah, the third installment of the Kuman Pictures Challenge. Yeah, Ami message and said, why don't you review this? <laughs> So we watched 10 short films, Yeah. Uh, ranging from 3 minutes to 10 minutes uh, and true to the requirement of the competition, they all had the element of mango in it. So they're supposed to be... Wait, wait. The, what is the competition like actually? The, the, the competition is, Kuman Pictures is a production company that does horror films. Uh. Yeah. Horror thriller films mm. And every year So this is the third year lah So for the past three years They've done this thing called The Kuman Pictures uh, Challenge Where you make a short film Based on their requirements And then you put it up on YouTube Make it public And you hashtag Kuman Pictures Challenge And then uh, they will curate it And uh, judge it And then come up with a short list lah and then eventually come up with a winner. So the winner wins like I think a thousand five hundred ringgit. Is it? Mm, yeah. So Goan Pictures has like a few competitions. There's also like a Goan Pictures feature challenge. Uh, and then there's also like the Goan Pictures uh, the script, script writing uh, challenge. Uh, so basically Ami likes to, to challenge people. Uh. But I could be wrong. So maybe these competitions are not what I'm saying they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to review the short films. Okay. Okay. So, are we going one by one or are we just going to talk about the ones we like? Or just talk about it overall? What would you like to do? Um. I. What are the details? You must have mango in it. Mm. So you gotta make a film. It has to be scary, yeah. Uh? Horror or thriller? Uh? Oh, then do you think any of the ten actually fulfill it? Yes. <laughs> really? Uh, but I'm like super chicken, so I'm not the best judge of whether. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But they had to have a mango. Uh, they have to have a mango featured in the film. Mm. Or Doesn't mentioned matter in whether the dialogue. Mention or scene or whatever. Yeah. Uh. Okay. There were ten films. You wanna describe all ten films? Are uh? what the ten films all no need? No. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking in the interest of time, we just review the shortlist in general and talk about the ones that we liked or didn't like. Are you cool with that? We should choose the three winners lah. Oh yeah, and uh. then at the end we choose the three winners lah. 
Oh, our no, winners, our la. winners la. We're not the giving out 1,500 again. The fat within winners. Yeah, you can go claim from uh, Kuman Pictures the 1,500 even if you didn't win. <laughs> yeah, because I guess this video is coming out the same day that Kuman is releasing their mm. winners. The actual winners. Our <laughs> winners are not the actual winners. Yeah, but but you get breaking guys some, that Zanazli really likes for, your film. For, 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 for some reason, we want to also declare winners. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so what were the films about? The films... So, all of the films in the shortlist uh, obviously had a horror or thriller element to it. I think... Or, I, or attempted lah. Uh, I think I appreciated that they were all uh, quite different. Um, uh, it was quite a diverse mix of, of films lah. In terms of length, in terms of style. I... Uh, in terms of story also, uh, not really many repeats, I would say. Um, I I like that. I also like the fact that um, there was like different languages as well. Uh, and I also liked that there was even some, some of the films had even an element of comedy, like on purpose. It wasn't that it was trying to be scary and then it was funny, you know. This one, it was actually like, they they put in elements of comedy in the horror and thriller, so I appreciated that. I thought that was quite quite nice. Um, yeah. Although there were also a few that I uh, guess the comedy was not intended. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I personally am like again not great with horror films, so they were to me the benchmark is very low la. <laughs> It's just very easily scared one. Okay, so yeah, what the, the, the monsters also scared, scary. Okay, so how did you feel overall uh, with this short list? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the 10 films. Um, I think I'm going to just go straight to the winner. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what you okay, think. Yeah. Because, huh? like, to talk about all 10, um, I'm not inspired enough to talk about yeah, all 10. Yeah, I'm not talking about all uh, 10. But I would say, uh, my favourite, my favourite, I just go straight to my, <laughs> I just go straight to my favourite. My favourite is the one with the picture. There's this grab driver or Lala Mufler who comes to take a oh, picture. Oh, mystery. Uh, and who gets to take a, something uh. and then she, but from a girl. And then the girl says, whatever you do, don't open it. The wrapping, he curiously got the better of him and he opened it and it was a, a, a painting or photograph of a girl holding a mango, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that to me was the scariest, although I wasn't scared, <laughs> but compared to the rest, this was the, 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 the creepiest. Uh, and I think for two reasons. One, the, the girl in the film has a really creepy face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the way that the film treated how the, 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 the image that he was transporting, what well, was, I thought was, what well, was, was, what well, hmm. was, um, fairly comparatively scary. La. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then again, I'm, I rarely get scared. So maybe I'm also not like a benchmark for scary films. I really, really get scared. I I rarely get scared, not just of horror films, but in general. Yeah, so we're like two real yeah. opposite sides of like the tangent. Yeah, like, so I'm like super easily like yeah. scared and he's just like... I'm the kind that would go to a abandoned bungalow on Gassing, Bukit Gassing. And actually call out, hey, <laughs> and, and nothing comes out. I'm like, what the heck? You know? Yeah, so, hmm. So I thought that was, that was okay. Uh, okay, my ranking, I would say that would be number one. Uh. Mm. What would be number one for you? Uh, okay, so before I say which one was number one, I actually, that, that one ranks pretty high for me as well. But I felt like there wasn't enough backstory to it for me to be fully invested um i i like that there was a cycle because like you know 
there's something that happens in the end, right? To repeat again. But uh, it just was like, okay, so? Exactly. But I guess that's why it's And that's my first la. choice also. So, <laughs> so. okay lah. <laughs> Hmm. Fine. But is that your first? Not not no, not first choice. It's la. not my first choice, lah. But it's somewhere definitely. I I'm not gonna rank them in particular order. I think I'll just mention the three that I like, and you maybe could rank them in an order if you would like. Hmm. So yeah, I like that one. The mystery, uh, Juanita Mango. Is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah, mystery Juanita Mango. Uh, yes, Juanita yes. Mango. Mystery Juanita Mango. The playlist Manga. is there. Yeah. Um, I thought. Um. Uh, I I like the the macho one. I don't really know why it's called macho. I guess it's because yeah. So I really like the macho one. The macho one is um. It's a it's a Tamil one. Uh, where basically there are these. That's why it's macho. Uh, there are these smugglers lah, and they smuggle drugs in creative form. So like. There's a towel or something, cocaine or whatever, and then they were supposed to transport this <laughs> batch of mango that's been injected with like a bio weapon that turns basically everybody into a, a zombie lah, more or less. Um, unfortunately, um, <laughs> the guy that was supposed to load the lorry to send the shipment to the smugglers loaded it onto a fruit lorry, and then the mango got got sold. And you know, so happened this new smuggler who came, uh, had bought one of these mangoes and then was basically infected by the the bio weapon lah. Hmm. Dude, I thought it was such a, it it was neither a horror or a thriller to me, but it was just such a Malaysian story. Like the incom level of incompetency in that film was so. Realistic, like of course he would just put it on the wrong truck. Go fruits, ma. I just put it on the fruit truck, la. It makes sense to me, right? Mm. But it's like you watch things like Ocean's Eleven or Narcos or whatever, and you see how all these people are like so slick and smooth in the way that they transport all their cocaine and shit. But no, in Malaysia, it's fruits, ma. We put it on the fruit truck, mula. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. I thought that was just. That was great. It was brilliant. It was so funny. Um, yeah. So that was that was just really, I it 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 engaged with me the most. I think, and I and uh, it was the one that had the element of comedy in it. So I think that's that's why I liked it. Um, I think bioweaponry is is quite a cliche la. It's really overdone already. This this like oh. We were going to go into bio war with other people or whatever, whatever. That was whatever. But it was just such a side plot that, you know, I really didn't really care about it. I just really cared about the fact that it was just really funny lah and engaging. Um, maybe that's why that's why it's my it's my pick because it's not horror or thriller. Um, then you wouldn't win the Kumar and Pichu challenge because mm. the criteria of horror and thriller is not there. Or will it? <laughs> we never know. Um, there, actually, I don't know. There were there were actually a few that I was I was quite okay with. So to pick top three is surprisingly actually quite hard. Um, in in going with horror and thriller, I thought the Pulot one was actually very very scary. It wasn't scary because it had like a good plot or what. It's the Chinese one where the guy just suddenly only wants to eat Pulot. And then it gets like super creepy and culty and then the visuals and the sound was just so messed up for me. Like it really creeped me out. It creeped me out so badly and I was just really really quite scared. So I think that would be my pick for number one lah. In terms of fulfilling the mango part and the horror and thriller part uh, and actually having kind of like a storyline. I thought that that one was, was quite good. Mm. Yeah. So there's that, and then I think my third one would actually be um, the parking lot one. So that's AM. Uh, I don't remember if there was a mango in that one, actually. Yeah, I also don't remember mm, if there was a mango but, in that one. But uh, that one also, I didn't, I mean the Blair Witch thing, the way that it was shot wasn't super, super fun or super original or whatever. But I thought it was a simple enough 
uh, story and also quite a Malaysian story you know oh you know I'll just I I can see I can sense benda-benda keras ni if I can get it uh, then aku boleh dapat duit uh, and then you think like you so what like that you actually end up bumping into something and then you're like freaked out you know so it you you can clearly see that the ones that appeal to me are ones that I felt are quite true to to life lah. like quite quite Malaysian quite 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 relatable quite things that Malaysians would do um, so even though it was shot in that stupid Blair Witch way uh, it's still one of my one of my picks lah because of that mm. so clearly my criteria for for picking these winners are is that Malaysian stories mm. yeah so which are your other two so the second one for me is going to be uh, Macho, uh, mm. the, the Tamil one. Uh, it wasn't scary at all. Uh, it was funny uh, and it showed the stupidity of this <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's funny and I like funny things. Uh, but it might not win the challenge because it's the horror or thriller. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's. I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah, I thought that that would be my second pick lah. Only because it was funny. I didn't like the zombie though. Mm. Can eat the mango and it becomes zombie and all that, right? Mm. Uh, uh, I wish that 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 was different. Mm. Uh, but if it was a it was like a short comedy sketch, I thought it was funny yeah. Mm. Right? Because the yeah, the, you you think that it would be so com- complicated, sophisticated the way they would. Uh, uh, what move the cocaine or whatever narcotics it is that they were trying to move, right? By putting it in the towel and wetting the towel and squeezing out so that the narcotics will come out from the towel, right? When actually it's not that smart, also. They just inject it into fruit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so uh, I like that. So it had nothing to do with horror lah, that made me like that film. Mm. Um, and then my third choice would be Amshar. Uh, the one where the whole sh- whole film was just WhatsApp mm. on WhatsApp. Uh, it wasn't scary at all. Uh, again, I don't scare very easily. Mm. Um, but I like that because um, enough of people who want to become filmmakers, uh, too many already just want to make films to make to have beautiful pictures. Mm. This one is not. No, it's just screen a screenshot of. WhatsApp. Screen recording. <laughs> Screen WhatsApp. recordings of WhatsApp messages, you know, uh, and there's a story being told as it went back and forth. Mm. wasn't a great story, but I liked it because it says, screw beautiful pictures, <laughs> screw beautiful visuals and but the cinematography is so beautiful, all the lighting is great and color grading is so good and yeah. I've never seen the what point of, you? I've never seen the point <laughs> of color grading anyway, personally. I've never been able to see the difference. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that was number three for me. Uh, Any special mention? Special mention lah. Uh, don't know lah, uh, maybe AM lah. Uh, mm. AM, the one in the parking lot one. Uh, the, the scare tactics in that one were very, very common lah. Uh. Mm. So you could see from a mile away already. So mm. again, not going to be scared lah. Uh. Uh, but uh, you know, yeah, it's a very Malaysian story, yeah, like you said. Mm. Very Malaysian. The way the horror is, the horror element of it is very, very Malaysian horror element. Mm. That and uh, bomo hitam that you want to make to kenal people. <laughs> but there's no story like that, right? In in the ten films, mm. yeah. Uh, Pulut lah is the closest, but that's more. A I want I wanted to say that Pulut was the worst for me. Yeah, you said. Yeah, yeah. you said to me lah. Pulut was because you follow the the playlist, mm. right? Pulut was a trigger point where I started falling asleep. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be bad lah, but I don't know. Um, you were shot very beautifully. It's creepy. It was no, just so creepy. I just thought that the you know the woman ghost uh. was. Look so didn't look real lah. It wasn't scary for me. It looked so like, like prop like that. 
Like a woman uh, well, Like a <laughs> Like an art department Did some work like that mm. <laughs> um, But yeah It was a fun watch though I would have to say mm. I would have mm. to say uh, it, w- it was fun uh, And I think for me Competitions like this Are never about Whether the film's good Or not good mm. It's the spirit Of wanting to join A competition It's the spirit Of wanting to even Pick up a camera And make something mm. You know So um, Yeah I mean, we've had our own fat within uh, film competition too before, mm. and the, none of they were not like brilliant or anything. But uh, again, the spirit was there, and the spirit was what kept me wanting to do it, wanting to watch it. Uh, so the same with this Kuman Picture Challenge, so lah. Mm. It really didn't matter if the films were good or not, lah. Mm. Actually, mm. yeah. Yeah, and, and I hope these people, because of the spirit that they have for wanting to enter this competition, it should carry them to continue to do more. Mm. And actually make good films. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, the stories are not not bad actually. I don't know. I think they're just very like you said lah, they're not they're not particularly sophisticated or whatever, but they're definitely creative lah. I think that 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 transcends all of the mm. entries in the shortlist. I thought they were all very creative. Each one was at least different from the other lah. Mm. Uh, and I, in some way, actually, thankfully, you also got no, like, Bomo, Black Magic thing, right? Because that's so, like, damn overdone already. Just like AM, the parking lot thing. That's also very overdone. Yeah, true. But, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I did want to add, I did want to add about the, the Amshar one, the one, the WhatsApp one, right? Mm. Uh, it does, I think that one does make me feel a little bit anxious because you're, on WhatsApp, and the other person is far away, you're, you're not near, if anything happens, you can't really do anything, and that person is asking for help, you know, what are you going to do when mm. you're just, you're, you're so close on the phone, but yet mm. so far, you know, mm. and you, you see things happening, it's like you hear those 911 dispatch calls, and you go, oh, help me, ah! boom, you know, mm. and you hear that, you can't do anything, so probably that's that, mm. even though there's a very comedic element there, you say, oh, call 999, and then the person says, huh, Good not 911, <laughs> yeah, Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah so it was also interesting to note that some of the entries that made it onto the shortlist had no horror element but brought in sort of real life thriller elements Mm. uh, tying in very sort of real life issues like there was one where there was a bad marriage there's another one where the person uh, doesn't have a job you know, and for you know, fallen on hard times doesn't have a job. That's has scary. Has to make hard decisions, and all these were very real damn fears. I think. <laughs> so, I think for me that would be scary years. You know, mm. like, dude, if you've got a family and then you lose a job and you got no yeah. money, and, you know, oil prices going up, <laughs> ah, that inflation, <laughs> yeah. you know, bank bank Nagara increasing the rates and all that. Ah, that that's real horror. Let me tell you, mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it was this shadow behind me all doesn't scare me any at all. Mm. Okay, I'll just turn around, shine a torchlight, shadow gone. Right? <laughs> but bang the gutter raising interest rates and all that, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, you know? What you gonna do? Uh, Why you, go for doing it? Yeah, you can't call a bomo to fix that man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was good that the filmmakers really, really thought out of the box. And sort of tried to be very, very relatable to to the public. Ah, and really tried to do something different, you know. Mm. Because, yeah, there was your typical jump scare, jump scare uh, one. But then there was also all these other slightly uh, less kind of underrated ones also. Lah. So overall, a good mix. A good mix. Yeah. Nice shot list. Right. I'm quite interested to see who is going to actually win in the end. Yeah. So yeah. I I I definitely can't make a horror film. Huh? Yeah. You can lah. You just go and shoot and bang the girl. But just I, straight I, go out. I think, <laughs> I think a lot of the documentaries I made are quite horrific. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, okay. So let us know what you think if you've seen any of no, it. Yeah. Let's see the the what the Kuma yeah. pictures list lah, and compared to ours. Hmm. Uh. Also that. Uh, but also go and go and watch the. Would you tell them to go and watch the short list? Mm, yeah. I mean, it's on YouTube. It's, yeah. Hmm? It's 
probably an hour I, I, time it, most. I would say go watch because mm. it doesn't take a lot of time. Mm. It's a quick fix, quick like munchy snack kind of watching yeah. film process. Mm. Yeah. 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 So go watch it. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Let us know which one is your favorite. Let us know um, once one pictures has announced the winner, whether you agree or disagree, or you feel like another film would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let us know what else you want us to review next, also, because uh, the cinema is. No f- films are coming out this week. I think got films coming out yeah, already. This week the films are three coming or four out, films. Uh, three, two, so, three films. So maybe let us know which one you would like us to see first. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so, like this video, don't like this video, subscribe to all of our social media platforms, at Fabian, or go to Fabian.com to get everything, you've been watching and listening to Fabian Film Club, I'm assuming I'm sure it was on. No, no, don't say that, I'm assuming I'm Zan Asli. And I'm sure it was on.